Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. I'm Special K, and I forgot to hit the record button. Now that it's recording, we'll look at this whiskey that we poured so previously. Tonight we're going to be reviewing uh, Bird Dog <laughs> Apple Flavored Whiskey. Yes. Uh, distilled and bottled right here in Kentucky, specifically Bowling Green. Yep. And this is a higher proof um, apple whiskey compared to the other ones. This is 80 proof or 40% alcohol by volume. So the price is still not bad on it. Um, it's about 20 bucks, which is a little behind for apple whiskeys, but again, mm-hmm. you're getting. Uh, you're paying for a nicer bottle yeah, and then with said cork with a cork with and that. then you're paying for a higher proof apple whiskey it's about the same price as the jack daniels mm-hmm. um so it's it's up there in the high end it's probably with the exception of crown uh it goes crown jack uh, yeah, and this are the most expensive ones on the market um, we did an apple off not too long ago and i'll put the link on the description down below that to figure was out a fun which video. was the best, uh, best apple whiskey on the market so anyway so the color um, the color is it's slightly lighter than yeah. some of the other apple whiskeys. Now, I do want to say, uh, I want to point out on the back of this bottle, it says caramel color added. So I don't feel like, I, I don't think I'm going to give it any points at all, any consideration for the color, because they can make this literally whatever shade of caramel they want. So it's pretty hot on those, actually. Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, actually, it's hot, it's nutty. It reminds me a little bit of like a caramel apple, mm-hmm. like um, like an actual caramel apple, but it is ex- with the exception of being hot. It, it and smells like it smells like uh, it smells like it is the condensed form, the condensed apple flavor. Uh, uh, extract. Extract. Yes, that word that I was looking for. All right, put this in your mouth. Pretty sweet, very sweet. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly smoother than I was expecting. Mm. I have to take another drink on there. A little bit tart. (laughs) A little bit, a little bit of alcohol bite, just right back in this area. Mm -hmm. A little nutty. It is a little bit. Peanuts specifically. You think peanuts? Mm -hmm. You get drier than peanuts. I don't know. It is. It is. uh, It is nutty though. Yeah, it is. Uh, But the apple, the apple is. It, it's fake. <laughs> this is a very not real apple. Um, it tastes like it tastes like someone described an apple flavor to somebody, and then they made that flavor. Now, on the apple whiskey scale, it's up there. I'm gonna say it's better than quite a few of them. Mm-hmm. Um, there's nothing bad in the flavor for an 80 proof one. Surprisingly, pretty easy going. Um, but again, it's it's a tad sweet for me. Uh, we did we did an episode where we made our own, which yeah. I was more of a fan of that. I, I was can, actually kind of surprised we did we so well. We can control the sweetness on that. Um, this is if this was chilled, it would probably be a pretty easy shot. Probably, um, I think it'd be a pretty easy. But shot I think it would be is. pretty good with just a splash of like ginger ale and lemonade, and that's what we're gonna good do. Good choice. So add a little bit of this. Uh yeah yeah. I'm gonna go fitty fitty on that. So about the same for me, I fitty guess. Fitty. Yeah. Um, as a as an unmixed. As a straight beverage, I don't think I would sit there and sip it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems like a, it seems like it's like a a five. Really, it's, it's very average. Apple flavor is all right, but it's uh, it's got that that alcohol burn to contend with. I, I think it's substantially better than that. I think it's, it's quite sort of a seven um, as far as apple whiskeys go. It's one of the better ones out there mm. for sure. Um, it's in the top uh, top. Three or four out of like the ten or twelve we've had, probably. Mm, yeah, we've had some pretty nasty ones too. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Let's try it mixed. That's uh, always a good tell. It's turned. It's turned a, a green color now. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. Nice and tart. Mm, nice much apple better mixed. Yeah, it's really it takes good. a lot of that sweetness that was turning me off. And just throws it away. Um, the lemonade and the ginger ale here, um, and plus the little bit of tartness of whiskey, it really helps it out a lot. It's still pretty sweet, but it's still easy going. Uh-huh. And 50 50 is a pretty good mix. I mean, yeah, this is a good choice. If you'd had a hard time taking a shot, you can even put a splash of the ginger ale in a shot glass with it, and it would make it go down a whole lot smoother. I think it's an eight. We could use ginger ale as a chaser. It's an eight as a mixer for sure. I'm going with an eight. Mm. It's definitely it's 100% better. Mm, not not 100 percent because that would put it in a 10. It's much better as a mixer than it is straight. Uh, I'll give it like a like a seven as a mixer. It's good. It's much better as a mixer. That's what this was designed for. Guarantee it. Yeah. 
Would you recommend it? Um, no, I don't think so. There are there are other things up on the shelf right now that are apple flavored. Uh, um, they are cheaper, and I think they have better apple flavor. If you're on a budget, uh, go with Benchmark. Yeah. Uh, but if you're wanting something higher end, I would go with this probably... Um, it would be hard for me to pick this over Jack. I'd be in between. I would go, honestly, between this and Jack Daniels Apple. It'd be whichever one is cheaper, yeah. honestly. Um, but as far as like the higher end apples go, um, I still, still think Crown is number one, probably, in the apple mm. department. But these are pretty good. As yeah. close to the, bird, the Bird Dog Apple is not bad. Um, and it will also make a stronger mixed drink. Yeah. And if you're going to be mixing it, which you should be, because it's way better that way. Yeah. All right, well, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Check us out on Facebook and Patreon. Instagram, I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching.